Hi everyone. Uh, so this is our third live session. Uh, however, there is nobody in the live session as you can see. Um, so let's wait for a while for uh, people to join the live session and then we can proceed. Uh, hello, uh, so this is our week three of uh, live session of our discussions. Uh, this week we will go through one of the previous assignments, uh, from, uh, one of the assignments from previous year, uh, where there was a discussion about uh, different aspects of sustainable transportation systems, uh, environmental aspect, health aspect, etc. Uh, even, even the other ones. 
so uh, let us look at all of those aspects and those questions through question and answer session uh, one by one let me share the screen so welcome everyone uh, to week 3 of nptel session uh let's look at few questions uh, and discuss them uh, so that we can understand how uh, things are around this particular topic sustainable transport system it's not about only about transportation but it's also about several other aspects of transportation that are involved for example Uh, which of the following standards in india is most efficient efficient in terms of minimizing the vehicular emission so as you know we have six different standards which evolved over different different period of time from 2000 to 2020 uh those are called as bharat stage or bs so we have bs1 bs2 bs3 bs4 uh bs4 bs5 and bs6 out of the standards uh bs1 was introduced in year 2000 which was in reference to euro 1 just like there are standards in euro euro 1 euro 2 euro 3 euro 4 euro 5 euro 6 uh these standards uh are implemented in phased manner so for example bharat stage 2 was first implemented in uh, delhi in cr which is which is national capital region of delhi near delhi uh, mumbai kolkata and chennai which were the four major cities or mega cities of india in 2001 uh, then it was extended to ncr and 14 different cities all across the india 14 cities specifically uh, just a second okay 14 cities uh which are above the population of 10 lakh then then in 2005 it was extended to nationwide by the time it was 2005 there was already bs stage 3 implemented in those 14 cities and delhi and cr and then stage 3 got implemented in 2010 nationwide by to, by by that time ncr and 14 cities already had bs 4 bs stage 4 so if we look at them so the these are evolved over the period of time so for each new stage each new time the minimization of vehicular emission through various different means have been evolved that's the reason the most efficient standard today is today's standard that is bs6 that is the reason why bs6 which is the most recent one is the most efficient in terms of minimizing the vehicular emission moving on increase in vehicular emission is directly proportional to there are four options increased vehicle age lack of regular maintenance of vehicles both of this and none of this so what does increased vehicular emission depend on uh increased vehicular emission essentially depends on several factors uh it depends on a vehicle vehicle has a several components uh the vehicular emission is because of the amount of fuel that is burnt by vehicle with the lack of oxygen so in the lack of oxygen all the possible hazardous emissions are created such as carbon monoxide and other gases etc this lack of oxygen happens because of the changes in the speed of piston which happens over the period of time for any given machine so definitely is depends on the age of the vehicle that is the reason first option is obviously correct the increased vehicle age changes or slows down the dynamic processes inside the vehicle the mechanical components starts to degrade and deteriorate 
that is the reason the machine doesn't function more, more efficiently and due to the lack of efficiency of that machine the emission increases however the machine's efficiency reduces even with the lack of maintenance of vehicle due to the lack of maintenance the vehicle might so very basic things like there could be a small amount of uh, a small amount of garbage pieces or something like that dust even dust small amount of dust in carburetor can create a much more higher emission and specifically volatile gases and other emissions especially carbon monoxide simply because not enough oxygen is provided to the fuel while it is burning so the answer to this question is both of these a population of wolves was divided due to construction of a road through the forest area over time the separated populations decreased and became vulnerable due to shortage of food and shelter this is an example of a habitat fragmentation b adaptive traits c natural selection and d biodiversity now let's look at this this options from the bottom biodiversity biodiversity is essentially existence or rather coexistence of various species around the uh, in a given area so around the world there are several thousands of species that exist so their existence is essentially considered as a positive thing and biodiversity is nothing but the extent of their existence so when we talk about biodiversity we always talk about multiplication of animals and multiplication of number of species however the question or the statement says that over the time the separated populations of wolves decreased which means the number of wolves have decreased and hence it is not the ex increase of biodiversity or it is not an example of biodiversity because there is no change in the number of species that are there in that area in fact there is a decrement second option is natural selection uh, so my bad third option it's natural selection when we talk about natural selection we say that due to any natural phenomena be it natural calamity or a general phenomena if there is a process through which certain animals change their behavior their physical appearances they adapt certain animals go extinct certain animals increase they evolve that is called as natural selection in this scenario the population of wolves is decreasing however this decrease is not because of natural phenomena but it is because of the construction of road through the forest area due to this construction it is a man made intervention that is causing the decrease in the population of wolves and hence it is not a natural selection rather it is an intervention which causes habitat fragmentation which means there was a habitat a road cut through it it got fragmented this two parts of that habitat will be called as fragments of that habitat if we say adaptive traits let's consider a separate scenario in which case there there was a colony of wolves and a road was constructed through it the wolves got separated however due to less number of wolves on either side they started hunting more or they started scavenging in a larger area and they slowly slowly increased their individual population then that would be called as adoption 
and that would show the adaptive traits however in this scenario the population has decreased and become vulnerable due to shortage of food and shelter so this is a classic example of habitat fragmentation whenever there is a road construction especially road and railway which are non elevated which are not underground but which actually pass through the ground animals have just a second animals have no other option but to continuously keep on changing their location simply because they cannot cross those roads and railway lines which are which they are not used to crossing they are not used to the traffic or see, you might you might hear several news of uh, elephants getting uh, getting hit by the train or uh, or different animals different wild animals getting hit by the car in several places that is specifically because of this habitat fragmentation and a very good example of this can be found in some of the highways which are constructed completely elevated and specific identified pass through bypasses underpasses are provided for the animals to look to go from one place to other place for food shelter uh, water etc international transportation of people is regarded as is regarded as one of the main reason for quick spreading of covid-19 disease yes because of the international transportation of people the disease that can be transferred only from person to person can be seen as it the disease itself travels across the country because of the passenger tra travel across the country hence one of the main reason for quick spread of covid-19 throughout the world was the international transportation of people which has increased over the period of time lack of physical activity is regarded as one of the major factor for headache cancer malaria or coronary heart disease so as we know uh, our body functions in a particular way in the particular way of uh, dealing with certain body parts their activities and actively providing oxygen for the energy generation to the muscles and tissues and cells of that particular body part now the lack of physical activity essentially means now this might sound like a medical exam medical uh, school class but anyway uh, the lack of physical activity essentially means that the cells are not requiring enough energy since they don't require enough energy they don't need enough oxygen they don't need enough oxygen hence the blood with through which oxygen is supplied by the way the oxygen is supplied to the entire body with only one type of fuel, uh, fuel that runs across the body which is blood blood has hemoglobin hemoglobin is nothing but ferrous which is iron the oxygen that we inhale through our uh, respiratory system that filters down the breathing through breathing it filters the oxygen the oxygen goes and reacts with ferrous to form fe2o3 which we call as hemoglobin and that travels that sits on the red blood corp cells and that travels throughout our body and whenever required the oxygen is provided however if we have the lack of physical activity the oxygen requirement of the cells reduce due to reduced oxygen requirement of cells the blood starts to act in a different manner there are several other elements that get deposited in the blood due to which there is a huge uh, danger 
of coronary heart diseases. That is the reason the lack of physical activity is regarded as one of the major factors for coronary heart diseases. So uh, that was today. That was today's session. That was this week's live session for you all. Uh, hope you will see. You all will see the video on YouTube. And uh, hope by the next time you would you would have completed week th week two, week three, and week four assignment. And we would discuss about those assignments, your doubts, and other clarifications in uh, the next week's assignment. Thank you so much. See you next week.